About one week ago, we got a sneak peek at the Elders letter for the month of June. This letter made mention of a secret box being sent to congregations in the United States with the explicit directions to not open the boxes until November 6, 2023. I quote, We trust that no one will reveal confidential talk about the boxes or the upcoming date and that the boxes will remain unopened and secure until the appropriate time. <laughs> Well, boys and girls, the Panda Gods have now revealed to us the content of these boxes. And it's possibly the most exciting event in the history of humanity. <laughs> Those SpongeBob! If only you could see inside my secret box, it would change your life. There was a lot of speculation in the past few weeks on what would be inside the boxes. Reddit had some absolutely glorious responses. Let me read some of them for you. It's an Anthony Morris body part, sent to give a lesson to all the Pimos lurking around. <laughs> it will be opened and shown to all congregants while playing a Steven Letts video, explaining what happens to anybody who dares to mock him and his final part of the last days just before the last day thing. <laughs> I hope my congregation didn't get the ass. I just imagine Lloyd Evans receiving a package all the way in Croatia or wherever the fuck he is now and opening it up and it's Tony Morris greasy ass with a post-it note saying you're next. <laughs> Things aren't looking rosy at the moment. In the box, a pair of shun glasses, <laughs> registered trademark, that are 100% guaranteed to filter out all your friends, relatives and even your marriage paint. New column announced for monthly service report for number of people shunned. <laughs> yeah, like an obituary of shunned people. I wouldn't put it past Watchtower, really. They bought everyone a copy of Crisis of Conscience. <laughs> that would be glorious. That would be the best thing ever. But I think a lot of members would just dismiss the book as lies from Satan. Whatever it is, I'm sure it will be a giant nothing burger. Bro, could you just put a spoiler warning on your comment next time? Jim Jones starter kit. <laughs> yeah, probably some Kool-Aid laced with cyanide or something. <laughs> it's like a shortcut to paradise. What flavor would the Kool-Aid be? Mm, probably some nasty ass artificial banana flavor or some shit. <laughs> it's probably coconuts since they've had so many donated. I completely forgot about the coconuts. I don't think Watchtower would redistribute them though, because that would count as charity and that's a big scary word for Watchtower. Hailstone message. Nah, proclaiming the hailstone message is one of those stunts Watchtower could only pull one time. I, it's like the final message before the end. The hailstone message is useful to Watchtower because it's just like Armageddon, you know, it's always just around the corner but perpetually out of reach. If Watchtower was stupid enough to start the hailstone message, a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses would leave the religion. Not all of them, of course, there's some believers that would follow the governing body even if they had a nine-way orgy and broadcast it live. But yeah, I think a lot of people would leave if the hailstone message was proclaimed and of course, no end would arrive. <laughs> the hailstone message is never happening guys, I'm sorry to break your spirit. Some speculations were a bit more serious, such as this redditor who offered the idea that these boxes could be like a secret attempt by Watchtowers to track down whistleblowers, as if, as if Watchtower had the brains to pull off such a stunt. They can't even stop their own Bethelites from leaking confidential information. How in the world are they gonna catch Pimos who are outside Bethel? I don't know. No, my dear viewer, the secrets of the box are much, much more mundane. It's a new campaign tract titled Love Jehovah, Make Disciples. This was leaked by a Reddit user X Bethel Elder, who has a history of confidential leaks which have all proven correct. So I think he's a reliable source. And this totally sounds like something Watchtower would produce. I mean, the title gets right to the point, but it doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. I'm guessing this brochure will be like a more expansive version of the teaching brochure we already have that Jehovah's Witnesses use in the meeting, like an indoctrination manual 101. Watchtower probably noticed that Jehovah's Witnesses, who are the group most well known for preaching, are notoriously bad at making new converts, so this tract will serve like a, a type of band-aid to cover a rotten, stinky wound. 
We haven't received photos of the tracks themselves, but here, I made a custom cover for it. You can use it if you want, watch, or I don't mind, you don't have to pay me anything. So yeah guys, that's all there is to the secret boxes. It's not Kool-Aid, it's not the Hailstone message, and it's definitely not Uncle Tony's ass on a platter. It's just a divine disappointment, courtesy of the nine losers at Warwick. Well, here it goes. Huh? Well, didn't I tell ya? Isn't it great? It's just a string. A secret string! So let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you Friday with a new convention video. That's all I got for today. See ya.